and welcome back to my channel my name is alicia if you're new here and if you're not welcome back so today's video is a sweater vest i wasn't gonna make a video about this and then i started making it and i realized i was making a lot of mistakes so i just kind of figured that like we could troubleshoot this whole thing together maybe i need to turn on the light let me make this aesthetic is that cute i found this tiktok I'm gonna link it down below and i saw this person making this sweater vest and i was like that is so cute i want to make it by the time i started buying all the yarn for it there wasn't like a set tutorial video out for it there kind of is now but i made the mistake of buying the wrong yarn and now i don't want this yarn to go to waste so i'm still gonna like try and figure out how to use it for this project that just means i have to restart so this is what it looks like i'm actually quite proud of it considering like this is my first time following like an elf pattern i think they're called it's cute isn't it that's what the back looks like. A little scary. Now you may be wondering, Alicia, like, it looks okay. What's the issue? I made this way too small. That barely, like, goes around. <laughs> so I need to extend this by, like, a lot. So I thought, why not make a video out of this? This whole experience. Obviously, this isn't a tutorial because I don't want to take away from the fact that this is somebody else's work. So this is inspired by their work. I am following their tutorial. So if you want to follow it along to it too, again, I'll link it down below. I think it's pretty safe to say that the first order of business is to take all this out. I kid you not, this took me, like, two weeks to do. And this is only one side but it's fine so the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna measure everything just to see like what the sizing was and how i messed up that i know how much more rows and chains to add so it actually makes the size that i want it to make um and then i'm gonna take this up so let's get started <laughs> So it's getting a little bit late, but I just did a little bit of a math of everything. And I think I'm gonna have to draw like an extended part of the vest on stitch film. So I'm gonna like draw out the entire graph here. Yeah, it is officially, well, I was gonna say 1 a.m., but it's 12.59. But I just finished doing this whole grid of the back and the front of it. So now I'm pretty much ready to start it tomorrow. I also measured how far the chains are. Like I chained them before I measured it and then I chained the amount that I did with my calculations to make sure that it's actually gonna fit me this time and it seems to be working. So I just added like, I added more stuff on the sides of the design just so I could like stretch it out longer so it actually fits around me. So there aren't any sheep on the sides, but there's like the purple flowers and stuff. So tomorrow or more specifically today, I will be doing that. Okay, so we have officially moved the operation outside just because I was watching back some of my crochet videos and I noticed I only film inside my room. Like, I don't, I don't really leave the house. And you know, it's summer and when am I going to be able to sit outside again? Also, if you can hear a noise, I'm sitting by like the side of the house and the vent on the side is like going a little crazy but yeah when am i gonna be able to sit outside and crochet again so i'm taking advantage of that now because it's summer so last night i ended up staying up till like 2 a.m because i finished the pattern and then once i did that i started doing a bunch of mouth cat mouth mouth math calculations so here are the calculations i got when i first started my project i followed the tutorial and i did 74 chains so that ended up being 13 and three quarters of an inch now my chest is a little over 31 inches so 13 inches does not make 31 so that's problem number one and then problem number two was after i crocheted the sweater vest the one that you guys saw this yarn actually like shrunk so it ended up being 12 and a half inches which is no bueno so i decided to troubleshoot and do 92 chains instead this time around with the same hook and that's 17 inches but then i was like what if i use a bigger hook so now i'm using a 3.75 millimeter hook and i'm doing 86 chains 
and that will be 17 inches just in case like it shrinks down a size then it's 16 inches because like I don't mind it being a little bit baggy so first I'm gonna try that I'm gonna crochet a couple rows with it see how it stretches if it's not working then I'll take it out and I'll either go down a hook size or you know I just need to see where we're at with that so yeah without further ado let's get into it So it's actually quite a bit later now and I've been sitting here doing this and I don't know why. I didn't realize this until now. This is all I've done by the way. Why does that sheep's head look like that? Like the rest of them are fine but that one sheep? What's going on here? Also like I don't know if it's just me when I do like alpha patterns but everything like shifts over. This isn't on top of that stitch but I crocheted it on top of that stitch but everything like shifts over. And now I gotta pull everything out and restart. It has been literally so long since I've crocheted. Oh I should probably state that last clip was from summer. I have not crocheted since summer. It is literally winter. <clears throat> I feel like so like, I'm like adjusting myself here. I've not filmed like this or crocheted like this in like months. Semester was hectic. If you want to know more about that, watch this video. I really hope I'm playing the right way. If I'm back, it's my break and I'm gonna crochet. This video was actually supposed to be me and like my process of making a sweater vest. And then I realized halfway through like, remember when I think I have the wrong yarn for it? And I was like, no, 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 it's fine. You know, I'm just gonna push through. That's just not really working out. <laughs> it's just not really working out. That's something we're gonna have to come back to. So let me grab my bin. <laughs> I quite literally have not been in this bin in like months. So it's nice to be back. I was scrolling on TikTok and I kept seeing hair bows, like people crocheting hair bows. And I'm like, those are so cute. Um, so I found a tutorial. This yarn. So this was the yarn I was using in my last video. Again, if you haven't seen it, go check it out on the last top that I made. I have this much yarn left. So I'm going to use this to make... six minutes <laughs> then i've been crocheting for like the past hour about this much so far i'm like do i just press through for like another minute or am i just gonna say screw it and do it tomorrow so it's literally the next day i kind of just hunkered down and like finished it cute little hair bow it took longer than I thought it would, not gonna lie. Recently, I just got this heat gun because I saw on TikTok people like, was it use like a, a lighter to like go over acrylic yarn and stuff? And I saw this TikTok and this one girl was like, she bought a craft heat gun. Ooh. Important safety instructions. How do I know when it's warm? Oh, it starts immediately. This is what it looks like before. I just. You might want to go away. I'm just gonna wait till you uh, mosey on out of here. I need you to watch out, please. Oh. You know, not gonna lie, I think it just made it more staticky, but kind of did a little something i don't know that's quite <coughs> just cut off the chunk you want it's not laura if you're seeing this merry christmas <coughs> merry christmas imagine i make that my thumbnail would that be funny like all my crochet thumbnails don't look like that all of them are like the same would it be funny if i made that my thumbnail though would you guys think that's funny but let me know if you like that be honest would you click on this I need to stop. What am I doing? 